August 1841. Conference Minutes. At a special conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, held in the city of Nauvoo, August 16, 1841. Elder Brigham Young was unanimously appointed to preside over the conference, and Elias Smith and Lorenzo Barnes were appointed clerks. After singing by the choir, conference opened by prayer by the President. The object of the conference was then presented by the President, who stated that President Joseph Smith, who was then absent on account of the death of his child, had called a special conference to transact certain items of business necessary to be done previous to the October conference such as to select men of experience to send forth into the vineyard, take measures to assist emigrants who may arrive at the place of gathering, and prevent impositions being practiced upon them by unprincipled speculators, etc., etc., and he hoped that no one could view him and his brethren as aspiring because they had come forward to take part in the proceedings before them, for he could assure the brethren that nothing could be farther from his wishes, and that of his quorum, that to interpose with church affairs, at Zion and her stakes, for he had been in the vineyard for so long that he had become attached to foreign missions, and nothing could induce him to retire therefrom and attend the affairs of the church at home but a sense of duty, the requirements of heaven or the revelations of God, to which he would always submit. Be the consequence what it might, and the brethren of his quorum responded, Amen. A list of names of the elders and cities were read by the President, and a few were selected by nomination and designated as follows. Voted that Elders H. G. Sherwood go to New Orleans, Louisiana. A. O. Smoot go to Charleston, South Carolina. B. Winchester go to Salem, Massachusetts. Erastus Snow go to Salem, Massachusetts. John Murdoch go to Baltimore, Maryland. Samuel James go to Washington, D.C. On motion of V. Knight, seconded by Samuel Bent. Resolved that the quorum of the Twelve select the individuals to go and preach in such places as they may judge expedient and present the same to the conference with a view of expediting the visit the business of the day. The situation of the poor of Nauvoo City was then presented to the conference by Bishops Knight and Miller, and a collection was taken for their benefit. After singing, conference adjourned until 2 o'clock p.m. Conference assembled at 2 p.m. It was addressed by Elders L. Barnes and H. G. Sherwood concerning the spread of the gospel and the building up of the kingdom of God in these last days. President Joseph Smith, now arriving, proceeded to state to the conference at considerable length the object of their present meeting, and in addition to what President Young had stated in the morning, said that the time had come when the Twelve should be called upon to stand in their place next to the First Presidency and attend to the settling of emigrants and the business of the church at the stakes, and assist to bear off the kingdom victorious to the nations, and as they had been faithful and had borne the burden of the heat of the day, that it was right that they should have an opportunity of providing something for themselves and families, and at the same time relieve him, so that he might attend to the business of translating. Motioned, seconded, and carried, that the conference approve of the instructions of President Smith in relation to the Twelfth, and that they proceed accordingly to attend to the duties of their office. Motioned, seconded, and carried unanimously that every individual who shall hereafter be found trying to influence any emigrants belonging to the church either to buy of them except provisions or sell to them excepting the church agents shall be immediately tried for fellowship and dealt with as offenders, and unless they repent they shall be cut off from the church. President Rigdon then made some appropriate remarks on speculations. It was moved that the conference accept the doings of the Twelve in designating certain individuals to certain cities, etc. When President Joseph Smith remarked that the conference had already sanctioned the doings of the Twelve, and it belonged to their office to transact such business with the approbation of the First Presidency, and he would then state what cities should now be built up, viz. Nauvoo, Zarahemla, Warren, Nashville, and Ramis. Resolved that this conference adjourn to the time of the general conference in October next. Closed with prayer by President Young, Brigham Young President, Elias Smith, Lorenzo Barnes Clerk.